Hey guys, this is Bibo Heranero. If you're coming from my review, um, I'm sa it's sad to say that uh, we have found another con for this unit, and we will discuss this all throughout the video. Um, if you haven't seen my review for this product yet, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link down in this, the description. We listed down some pros and some cons for this unit, and you might want to check it out. I'll see you on the other side of the intro. Hey guys, this is Bibi Haranero, and for this video, we're going to be reviewing the driver of the Mashiniki M620, which I am showing you right now. But before that, of course, I leave a link down below on where you can download it. So once you go to that link, let me paste it again so that it's fresh. It's going to look like this, and of course, it's going to be in Chinese. Mine is automatically translated to English, thanks to Chrome. Now, you're going to want to go to Peripheral Driver. And scroll down, you will find M620 there, which is right here. It's only 2 MB. Just download that immediately and set it up. So once that's set up, it's going to look like this. All right, so as soon as I opened it, I reconfigured nothing with the buttons, um, but I did reconfigure the DPI settings to my liking. Now here you can change the DPI sensitivity and you can change the color assigned for each. Like what I'm showing you right now, it changes colors because I customized them. Now, also in this driver, you can set the lighting for um, for this mouse over here. You can there are nine lighting modes, and you can adjust the speed. Now, as you can see below this mouse, under it, there's an option to turn the LED off. Um, I turned it off because I don't want a lot of lights on my desk, so it, I just keep it off. For the mouse parameter, don't touch the mouse sensitivity because you don't want. I don't know if this will f up your aim in FPS games, but it could. So just don't touch it. Leave it at five. Uncheck the improve pointer precision. Uncheck that one because I'm not sure. I haven't tested it out, but it could f up your aim. Now the scrolling speed left it there. Double click speed I left it there. Pulling rate I set it at one thousand. You can set it from one twenty five up to one thousand depending on how much CPU power you want to um, save up on. So that's pretty much how it looks. You can set up profiles here, um, and once you've set these profiles up, I believe there's um, actually there is no button here on this mouse to change profile. No button. So you're going to have to manually go to the driver and change the profile depending on what profile you want to use. But uh, if, say for example, you're using profile number one and you've reconfigured these buttons here to act like some parts of the keyboard, then you don't need to set that up in another computer if you need to transfer the mouse to another computer. You don't have to. But as for the profile change, then you will need the driver. I hope I made that clear. I hope I made this as informative as possible. If you've got any questions, comment it down below. And if you haven't seen the review we made for this product, be sure to check it out. I'll leave the descript I'll leave the link down in the description below so that you can see the pros and the cons that I've enlisted in that video. Thank you very much guys. This is B-Boy Haranero. Thanks for the support and have a nice day. Leave a thumbs up and a sub. Bye-bye.